I hope Jason didn't drink that. I'm, I'm sure he did not. He's a smart guy. You'd find yourself in a jam if you did. Yeah, you probably. <laughs> 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 All right, well, since you have the pun of the day, take it away. Well, too bad there's no more snowballs, am I right? Because no. you'd probably th throw that at me as revenge. Well, actually, looking across our area, our temperatures have been cool enough. The fact that we've actually been able to hold on to some of that snow on the rooftops and, of course, on the low-lying grassy areas, on surfaces. I've actually seen, it was really cool to watch literally yesterday when I noticed white colored cars or lighter colored cars actually held on to that snowfall a lot more than the darker colored cars. It's really cool how science works because the sunlight's absorbing. But right now we are actually cooler than when we were yesterday morning, seeing temperatures into those lower to mid 20s. And we do have a little bit of a wind chill out there from, from those winds from the northwest. So keeping things a little cool this morning. But look at that big difference in the fact that we are actually seeing sun instead of an overcast sky. That's the good news, but it's going to take a little bit more today to get the uh, sun to heat things up. Right now, Mount Vernon coming in four degrees cooler than yesterday morning, now sitting at 24. Paducah taking Mount Vernon's old temperature, sitting now at 28, along with Sykeston, Union City, Murray, Poplar Bluff a little cooler there at 27. We're looking at Fredericktown, Piedmont sitting at 22. So it's a cool star. It's one of those mornings where you want to have that winter jacket out there, especially going forward. But even further out, look at this cool air. It literally is coming in. You have the Canadian air filtering it in from the northwest. Cool air is going to continue to move in. And with that, something else to note, we're actually seeing snow falling across areas from the Great Lakes. And so it's possible that even areas a little further down in the south, just into central Illinois, seeing some of those snowflakes. But I don't think we're going to be seeing that for at least a little while because our threat tracker bar is staying a little bit low, almost there to that moderate level just because of those cool temperatures. So day for a jacket. Monday we're keeping an eye on because we're looking at a system moving in, but it, there's still some things in question right now, whether or not we're going to be seeing that rain transition to snow and that will linger into our Tuesday morning. So it's something that we're going to be tracking. It's something that I want you to stay tuned into as well, especially if you have any commutes. But today we are looking at a cool start to the morning. Temperature is not going to be much more than at least those mid 30s. We're going to be seeing some lower 40s as well out there, but it's going to be a cool day. We're going to notice the clouds start to filter in. So though we didn't get quite as cool into those lower 20s as we may have thought, it's still a brisk day out there from those winds coming from the northwest. A few clouds will be able to filter in as we go through the afternoon, especially into the overnight hours into early Monday. Again, same thing. Temperatures dropping into those mid 20s could see a few lower 20s out there as well. We clear out for the afternoon, but then by the time we go into Monday late afternoon, by the time temperatures have warmed up at least into those lower 40s, upper 30s, clouds start to come back in and off to the west. We notice the rain showers start. That will be first. And then there's some question with our temperatures still being into those 40s, upper 30s, whether or not the snow will be able to mix in. And so that's why we're telling you be careful and be on guard because if you have any traveling to do, it could make for an icy mix into early Tuesday morning. Here we are at 4 o'clock. Again, these temperatures are a little warm, but it's not impossible to see, again, a few flurries, a mix. So just be prepared for that as well. Have all the supplies that you need in your car and in your home before you drive. That's always the best advice. But that'll be out of the area by later into the morning hours Tuesday. Temperatures then again rising at least until those mid-30s. But the cool air is going to stick around with us. So you're going to want to download that StormTrack 3 app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. And again, looking at this cool air still coming down from Canada November 18th through the 22nd. So every morning when you wake up, think of that cool air staying in place because once the system gets out of here Monday, Tuesday, then we're going to be left with that dry air in place. And so even if temperatures are into the 40s, well, it's still going to feel pretty chilly out there because, again, the winds are going to be whipping out there. So when you go outside, you know, brought a couple things. So probably maybe this is too thin to wear outside. Maybe what, as what an you, underlayer. Maybe as an underlayer. But, but this thing, though, this thick pea coat right here, this is probably might good have to, to go thicker. Maybe <laughs> that's how that's how cold the winds are. This it really morning. is. It's right. really cool out there. All right. Thanks, Emily. Well, stay bundled up there. Well, hey, is your Christmas shopping list done? Don't procrastinate. You have a chance to whittle that down just a bit now.